<laughs> Alright everybody, hello, welcome back. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven saws. That's all I had the money for. Now I got 35,000, so I, I spent all my money on weapons, because I know we're going to need some fucking weapons. Uh, oh, actually, let me save real quick, just so that I have a place to just come back to if I need to, you know. If I really, really, really need to come back to this, then I've got it. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh my good word. We did it. We beat it, and none of you fucking saw it. It was pretty epic, though. I'll explain it. Obtained a million as a completion bonus. Sweet. The fucking blocked scene. Oh, there we go. Okay. It blocked the scene again, but there was no scene to be blocked, so fucking weird. Ryuga Gotoku Studio. Well, that was Yakuza Kiwami 2. Let me explain what the fuck just happened. So basically, chapter 16 happens. Uh, we go to the fucking hills or whatever, which is a giant fucking construction site. You can actually see it right there, kind of in that little screen. It's, it's just playing. We meet up with uh, Ryuji at the top of this fucking tower and he's being held at gunpoint by his sister. She explains to him that that they're brother and sister and he's like, wow, I've got a fucking sister. Too bad, I wanna fight this bro. So we fight and I kick his ass, he was pretty easy. And then Tarada, Tarada comes in, you know the guy who died at the very beginning of the game? And we held the fucking funeral for? He was apparently part of the Korean mafia and he's like, Fuck this shit, dog. And so, and he says that he orchestrated the whole thing. It was all a script, apparently. And so we fought him and we kicked his ass, too. And then he's like, but I got a bomb. And then there's a giant fucking bomb right next to us the whole time. And he kills, uh, oh, wait, no, he doesn't kill. Fucking, um, and then... I forget who it is. I think it's Ryuji or the or the Chairman Gota guy. One of the two of them get shot. So like, yeah, the mastermind. I'll show you right here. So we defeat Ryuji. It might not even show, but the mastermind was quote unquote Terada. Uh, and then it shows, yeah, the backstory of why this all came to be. Uh. There he is, there's Tirada himself, the final survivor. He faked his death. Um, and then when we kick his ass, he's like, no, you kicked my ass. Um, oh, whoops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, that other guy, Takashima, or whatever the fuck his name is, he comes in th at that point, and he's like, you know what? I'm the head orchestrator of this shit. And he's like, everybody's gonna die. Uh, but then he, he just ends up getting killed and shot by... By Ryuji. And then Ryuji's like, Yo, let's fight again with us. And so we fight again with Ryuji and we kick his ass a second time. So there were three boss fights at the very end. And Ryuji then dies after having some heartfelt things to say to his sister. And then, um... Uh... And then... The bomb is, like, set to go off, basically. And it's down to the wire. And it's, like, the last minute. And then both Kazi. Ka Kaz Kazuma Ki Kaz Ka I don't remember what the fuck his name is Kazuma Kiryu and his lady friend they kiss and they make out for like 30 minutes and the bomb goes off and then the credits roll 
and then we get the end credit scene where they're at a funeral at the gravestones and it's made to believe like Haruka is paying tribute to Kazuma Kiryu who died in the explosion but the explosion never went off because Tarada didn't trust Takashima so he never put the fuse into the bomb and then it's like uh everything's all go happy go lucky and then it just ends Kazuma Kiryu and uh, the girl site I don't remember what her name was uh they did not actually die they survived and so it was them two, Date and Haruka, all sharing a happy, happy ending at the very end. And the reason why you didn't see the entirety of chapter 16 was because Sega blocked the fucking content. They blocked the cutscenes, they blocked the gameplay, they blocked the whole goddamn thing, so... Sorry. This is exactly what happened in Yakuza Kiwami 1. It's what probably would have happened if I actually recorded Yakuza 0. It's what's gonna happen when I record and play Yakuza 3, 4, 5, and 6, and probably the Judgment games. I actually don't know, but... Hey, not cool, Sega. Not cool. Anyways, thank y'all for joining. Sorry for the very anticlimactic ending. Hopefully... Eh, I mean, go see it on, you know, YouTube. There's probably... Someone probably got through and uploaded a non-blocked, you know, video of it, probably through the PC or some shit like that. And then you'll get the full story there, but anyways, it was pretty fun, I liked it. Yakuza Kiwami 2 is definitely my favorite, probably, so far, of all the Kiwami, uh, of all the Yakuza games. Yakuza 0 was eh, Kiwami, Kiwami 1 was, like, pretty good, and then Kiwami 2 is, like, also really, really good, so... Yeah. I'll probably take a break from Yakuza for a little bit from the, from here on out. I've got 3, 4, and 5 as a collection on a disc, so I don't have to worry about getting that done anytime soon. So I'll focus on other games after this. But yeah, thank y'all for joining. I love y'all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!